We often miss the ability our mind has to impact the body and the ability our body has to impact our mind. Hey everyone, this is Jay Shetty and thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate all the comments, all the shares and all of the engagement that I'm receiving on these videos. I can't wait to keep creating more and more content for you. Yeah, just keep it coming. Today I want to talk to you about the power of smiling. How many of you never smile in a selfie or a picture? Big smiles for the camera in three, two... You know exactly who you are right now. Specifically known as the facial feedback hypothesis, scientists have known for some time that changing your body through actions like smiling, sitting up straight and relaxing can change your mental and emotional responses. Now if you don't like smiling a lot in pictures or when you're out in public, don't watch this video because I may convince you that it's the best decision you can make for your mental well-being. One of my favorite studies on this subject actually took place in the 1980s. Researchers didn't want the participants to know that the study was about happiness, emotion or positivity. So they did this by an improvised use of a pencil. They obviously knew that if the participants knew what they were being tested on, it would completely skew the results. The first group held the pencil horizontally in their mouth between their teeth forcing them to have a smile. You can try it out at home right now. The second group held the pencil horizontally in their mouth, but just using their lips, which stopped them from smiling and actually caused a frown at moments. You can give that one a go too. The third group, or the control group, simply held the pencil in their hands. The participants were then asked to view cartoons and rate them on a funny scale. They were asked to say which ones made them laugh, which ones did they enjoy, and which ones left them feeling positive. The results were incredible. The first group or the smile group actually reported the highest responses that were positive and funny and hilarious. The second group or the frown group actually reported the worst responses of how much they enjoyed the cartoons. And the control group which held the pencil in their hands was somewhere in the middle. What this simple research study showed is that when we change our body to sit up straight, to smile, to connect with others, to engage with presence, we automatically change the responses in our mind. We allow ourselves to feel better, to think better and to live better. It's incredible to know that simple changes in our body language, in the way that we're sitting can impact our emotional mood states. So much more insightful research has been done into this space, but if you can just take a simple step today to change your posture, to add a smile, and to relax a little, you'll see how much your mind will be at ease.